Hey guys, today I have a review for you guys of an app called Quick Office Pro HD. It's available on the App Store for twenty dollars, and it's for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and um, iPad. The iPhone and iPod Touch uh, version of this app are, um, I think, uh, ten dollars or sixteen dollars. It's either one of those two. But today I have a review for the iPad version of the app. So, um, let's uh, get into this. So. I have installed it on my iPad already, so I'm just gonna click on it. And here's the um, home page of it. Let me zoom in a bit. All right. So here's the app. On th on this side, it's like a bunch of locations which you can add with this little uh, plus button. Um, so you can add uh, documents from uh, Google Docs, Dropbox, um, Hawks.net, uh, Mobile B, Huddle, uh, SugarSync, and I don't know why there's two Mobile Me's. Oh. Uh, this one's the mobile me uh, public eye disc. So there you go. Um, so as soon as you add some, it um, adds them over here. Um, so as you can see, I have some uh, uh, locations right here, uh, and then you can edit the locations. Um, so right now I have my iPad's location, my Pox.net location, my um, Google um, um, Docs locations, uh, these two. And you can tell that with the little icon on the side right here. So uh, um, that's the location part. In the center is all your documents. As you can see, I only have um, one document so far, and um, that's because I haven't typed anything up on this so far, so that's why. But here's a, a recipe that I made a few days ago, so here it is. Um, so all your uh, documents would end up in. Uh, this column right here and then on this side I'm not exactly sure what this is because um, I haven't actually uh, messed with this app too much but over here on the bottom you have all your um, buttons so this button adds one of your services like uh, Google Docs. With this button, you can add or remove some of the um, services uh, you have connected on this app. This is the trash can button, um, so you can uh, um, delete some of your documents. Uh, this button will allow you to uh, email uh, some of your documents, so uh, that's what that's for. Um, this one. Uh, you can share your f f files to people with. And then let me cover up my IP address. And then over here on uh, this corner, you have uh, two buttons which allow you to um, add a f f folder if you wanted to, and another button to allow you to. Uh, create uh, various types of documents so you can make a text document uh, document to 
thousand uh, document um, document two thousand and three spreadsheet two thousand seven spreadsheet two thousand three and presentation two thousand three format. After that, you have your uh, search bar up here in the top right hand corner of the screen after that is a help button which takes you to their um, help uh, uh, site and then settings which allows you to transfer documents file cache uh, disable sleep and set a passcode so uh, no one can access the app if you have important stuff on there so um, let's go th through a, a f f few of these uh, um, document styles so the first one is a presentation uh, 2003 so let's click that now, as you can see it gives you a thumbnail view of all your slides on this side as you can see here's a close button and here's an entire view of your entire slide so you can edit the stuff right here you can um, move some t t text boxes around you can also uh, change the size of it you can uh, rotate it and you can add pictures and shapes and all that images shapes text um, yeah and then this button down here you can add another to light if you wanted to so and then as soon as you hit the close button up here it asks you to um, save as save or cancel or don't save so we're just going to do uh, don't save then let's go ahead and click Fresh sheet 2007 format and this one is un nicely uh, laid out also you can p p pinch to zoom here's your f f f f formula button uh, you can pull your uh, f Font and everything, you can italicize it, all that good stuff. And down here, there's a portfolio type of design, so you can add new spreadsheets or uh, whatever. Then let's delete those. Then you have up here, search, print. Um, insert c c columns um, undo button and auto something oh yeah it's a uh, font and all that um, we do that and then uh, is the exact same thing when you hit the c close button so let's go to the next one which is um, a document on this one is p pretty simple you have your pull button up here italicize underline your document name it's pretty much the exact same thing as the other two but over here it's a bit different you have your search button your print button your undo button and your f f font button uh, the bad thing about this is you can't add uh, p p pictures to the document so I uh, didn't uh, like that too much about the app but it's it's 
till I'm good uh, way to type of documents so uh, now let's uh, go into a uh, text file um, this is the exact same thing as uh, um, uh, document 2007 except it's just in a different f f format it's, it's that simple as you can see all these buttons up here are the same uh, um, that's the same and all these buttons over here are the same so um, it's not gonna make a difference which one you uh, use except uh, it might end up to be a .txt versus a um, dot uh, .tocx so yeah um, um, that's it for this review um, I'm just uh, kind of um, say that um, this is a, a really nice app if you want to get it and I'll show you the price of it too in the app store so I really want you guys to check this app out so it would um, help you guys out a lot more you can t type things up in uh, in your iPhone or iPad or anything you have um, let's go to quick office and yeah on the iPhone it's okay on the iPhone you can get two versions of it quick office which is uh, ten dollars and quick office pro which is fifteen dollars I have Quick Office Pro HD, which is twenty dollars, and I'm pretty sure um, these two are the exact same. Quick Office Pro for the iPad and Quick Office Pro are the same thing, and this one, Quick Office, is just a little bit uh, uh, limited to what you can do. So I am really um recommend this app. It's just you can't copy and paste pictures into your uh, documents um that's the only thing I don't like about it but other than that it's a really nice app so I'll see you in my next video peace guys